Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to now do a reverse triangle. If you recall, uh, the other triangle was we started from one and then we added and it went this way. And let's just see here to remind you if you did not see the other video we will just run this real fast it goes this way so now we are going to do one that goes the other way and we're going to incrementally build this so all right so let's just block this and of course if you had if you've paused it you've already seen the code but we're just going to go through it one step at a time so all right incrementally so we're just going to do this one thing at a time so let's let's think about it one two three four five six seven eight nine so we need nine loops right we need to do something nine times remember how we do something a certain number of times with Python we use the range function. So nine. Print just i, so we can run and count this. Zero through eight. How many is that? It's nine. So because we have to include zero, of course we know one through eight. That's eight. Add another one for zero. So it's like uh, counting pages of a book do subtraction and then count the then plus one so all right oops all right so we have we have our loop and then each time through the loop this is what the, this is what there's there's three components that are happening here down fill numbers so each time through the loop we need to do then two components so we have our we have our uh, our rows, so we have our nine rows, and then we're going to have to do. We have two different types of columns. We have space columns, and then we have number columns. So, we the first time through, and we're starting at the end. So, whatever the number is. So now we have to do another loop, a for loop, and we'll just keep this simple. So let's see how many times, how many numbers do we want to come out? Well, what is our rule? So and let's see if anybody remembers or has seen the other video. To suppress this, we need to, I'm sorry, to get it, yes, to suppress going to the next line. Let's see anybody remembers so all right what did we do here I think I did a video on this you can poke around but um, so all right so we're partially there and again we're gonna do this incrementally so I had I, I went and printed all the numbers through but I, I don't want zero through nine I want to start with one so let's start here. Now that is to get that's how I got all the numbers, but we're gonna need to do the spaces first. So if we think we when we did the first triangle, we went up by one and we didn't worry about any spaces. So we need to add another component. So as we go down, this right here, we need eight spaces. This right here, we need seven, six, five, and so on. So we need to count down. So this isn't quite exactly right. If you remember in the other videos, this is how we did backwards. So, oop, I forgot something. Let's do this. So, now we're getting warm. 
So each time through, my spaces are going to become fewer and fewer. But I don't want I don't want it to be just like that exactly. So now we need to change this just a little, and I'm going to show you. So we have because we want the spaces on our first section. And I'm going to show you this. All right. So what I did here is so we don't have to think about the numbers going backwards. So I just put a star in here. And you can go and look at four loops for more, more great, greater detail of what, what this does right here. It follows the indention. I don't want to slow down um, this lesson to go over that, but you can find that. All right, so I did a space. I do no space. To remind you, this, this suppresses going to the new line, but then this does whatever I need to, and then it goes back up to the top loop. So, well, I don't want stars. I want numbers to pick back up and as my starting point and then continue. So I need to change this just a little to add another loop. So what, and we will go over this. So to remind everybody, this little refresher, range, inclusive, stop, exclusive. So I'm adding a one because this is pulling from here each time through. Just to remember. All right. So then print. Line suppression, then my new space. So let's run this and see how close I am. All right, so this is incremental and I'm off just a touch. Let's look real, real close. So, um, I'm off a little bit here with my eyes or my Q. Uh, I think that might be it. Let's check. Because I have an extra line here. I want everybody to look real close. I got an extra line at the bottom right there and an extra space here. So let's let's look at it. Let's mess around with this. All right, let's change this just a touch. Alright, there we go. So I had, um, let's just go over what I changed. It was nine, right? Let's check, let's just, let's just go back. So think about our rules. When it's, when it's a single number in range, it is, starts at zero, goes to goes to the number before that's exclusive this is exclusive this is not included so I change this I do a hard start start at one then go to up and two but not including ten run this and there's our pro there's our there's our done now let's tweak this just a touch and look at it look at that and so we'll mess with that a little bit more but that's some of those type of things that you can just kind of mess around and really get different different reactions and different things but this is what we were wanting to do is that we wanted our row to be here and you could then mess around where you had just like you had all your ones right here and come down you could do the exact same thing 
Uh, I was thinking about it. I messed around and did a diamond one time, so maybe that's something we could do. But think about that. What would we need to do to put all the ones here to go backwards? That's something that maybe you can work on next time or email me a question on how to do it. But just start messing around with this stuff. And there are rules that Python has to follow, but when you really start getting good at this stuff, you can be, you'll be amazed at the things that you're able to do. But um, thanks for watching. Hope you're getting something out of this. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.